In this video, I'm tearing apart a fairly new Briggs & Stratton engine with a build date of September 2022. And it threw a connecting rod, but it did not break the block. So this engine being under manufacturer's warranty is an automatic teardown, meaning I have to find out if the customer is at fault or the manufacturer. Now, 9 out of 10 times with a thrown rod, it's due to little to no oil, overheating, or not changing the oil. We'll find out later in the video what the actual cause was. So, there's many different reasons an engine can fail like this. Running it with no oil causes a lot of heat buildup and a lot of friction, which is metal on metal contact. Now the oil does two things, lubricates and dissipates heat. When you run it low on oil or completely out of oil, the engines get hot very quick and catastrophic failure is ineb inevitable at that point. Now in just a moment we're going to take the overhead valve cover off and even though I removed all of the oil out of the engine, there should still be some left enough to where it should run out on the table. So we're going to get rid of these uh, cooling tins, which are very important, and then we're going to remove the entire head. This is a complete uh, piece by piece tear down and inspection. So we're going to take the head off and to clarify one thing, Briggs and Stratton no longer uses valve cover gaskets. It's RTV sealant. That is how it comes from the factories you will see here. So we're going to peel the valve cover off and it is bone dry, which is not a good sign. Meaning this engine did not have enough oil or something else happened in the oil. It either had no oil or not enough oil or the wrong type of oil was used. This is a splash lubricated engine, meaning it is not pressurized, meaning the oil is splashed all around the engine by the oil slinger or governor, or whatever you want to call it, oil slinger unit, governor unit. Now you look here in the cylinder, it's completely dry. That's not good. So that's two red flags as why was oil not getting to the front of the motor. It's splash lubricated. Could the governor have failed? Yes, but there still would have been trace amounts of oil and the parts wouldn't be bone dry. So that's already ruled out. So now we're gonna take the oil pan, sump cover, whatever you wanna call it, off of the engine. And this engine, like I said, build date is September 2022. It's June 2023 when I did this video. And, uh, you have to excuse my creaky office chair. So nothing on this engine is rusted or discolored or anything. So immediately when I crack the pan loose, what comes out is what I refer to as gray paint. Burnt engine oil with metal in it. There's a camshaft blowed apart. And there's pieces of connecting rod, balancer, and cylinder wall in the engine and if you look at that crank journal there is metal transfer which indicates a lack of lubrication this is not a warranty problem this is a customer negligence problem they either did not check the oil and the correct amount of oil or change the oil and did not put the correct amount or incorrect or no oil at all in the engine. And you can see by the scoring on the crankshaft that this engine got very hot. You can tell by the pieces of the connecting rod that I'm pulling out, this engine got very hot. It broke the balancer. And according to the manufacturer, what they said in the denied warranty claim is the engine overheated due to a lack of lubrication issue because there is metal transfer present. The cylinder was broken and the cast iron sleeve was scored beyond recognition. 
and the piston was scored, meaning no oil got to the cylinder. So when I called the customer and told him this, and quoted them for a new engine, which I did install, they admitted to me that there's the possible chance that it ran without oil at one point in its life. Always check the oil. Whether it's push more, riding more, even in your car, check the oil. As you see here, I'm trying to get the piston out, but the balancer and underneath is so mangled when the rod came apart that it had the balancer up at an angle and I had to take a 10-pound uh, sledgehammer and beat the crankshaft out of the engine in order to pull the piston. Alright, so up next is the pictures that I took of the teardown. And as you can read on the screen, conclusion was no oil, or little no oil. Here's the cylinder where it got broken in one spot. There's pieces of connecting rod. And there's the piston which is scored unbelievably. There's the other side of the piston with scoring present. That is the break in the connecting rod. This is the bent camshaft with scoring visible. This is the sump cover, which is a disaster. This is the crank journal, which should not look like that. This is the crankshaft bearing part, which goes through the oil pan scored up. Damaged cylinder and scored cylinder well cast iron sleeve connecting rod pieces again and more connecting rod pieces and the gray paint that came out of this engine